If you want to know about the weather, you really need to know about things called air masses. But, what with it being see-through and all that, air is a pretty difficult thing to look at. So first of all, what exactly is an air mass? Well, an air mass is a name given to a large chunk of air that develops certain characteristics because of where it is on the planet. For example, air that sits over North African deserts is very hot and dry. We call this type of air a tropical continental air mass because it's in the tropics and it sits over the continental land rather than over the sea. With the right weather patterns, this air can come all the way to Britain. As it moves north, it has to cross the Mediterranean Sea, Spain and France, but it will still keep some of the dry and hot characteristics it originally had. So, a tropical continental air mass brings us dry, warm and mostly clear skies. It might bring more than just good weather, as this sort of air mass can give spectacular sunsets and deposits of fine red dust on the ground if it's picked up desert dust from the Sahara. Another easy one to spot is a polar continental air mass, and the name describes exactly what it is. This air mass is called polar because it comes from around the North Pole, and continental because it travels over the land rather than the sea. If this air mass makes it to the UK, it could have come from two different directions, either from the east, moving south from the pole across Siberia and Eastern Europe, or it can come from the northeast, travelling across Scandinavia before it gets to us. This air mass brings some of our coldest weather in the winter. At the end of 2010, the UK was in the grip of a polar continental air mass and temperatures plummeted to a very chilly minus 18 degrees Celsius in Wales, the lowest on record for November. On their journey to us, often across the North Sea, these sorts of air masses can often pick up enough moisture to create really heavy snow showers on the east coast. In Northumberland, on the 30th of November 2010, one of these air masses dumped 40 centimetres of snow. 40 centimetres! But what about weather with a journey over water? Any air mass that travels over the sea will change dramatically on its journey to us. Polar maritime air arrives from Britain from the northwest. It starts over northern Canada or Greenland, where it's cold and usually pretty dry. However, its long journey over the Atlantic Ocean means the character of the air mass changes dramatically. As the maritime air mass travels across the warm sea, the air is heated and moistened from below. Warming causes the air to rise, and as the air rises, it cools, condensing moisture in the air, forming clouds. When this air mass arrives in the UK, we tend to get a mixture of sunshine, rain, hail, sleet, and even sometimes snow. As we are so familiar with this sort of mixed weather, it's not a surprise to find out that this is one of the most common air masses over the UK. When we hear forecasters predict sunshine and showers, it's probably because polar maritime air is on the way. We've looked at three of the six main types of air mass we experience in the UK. When an air mass originates far from us, it'll change on its journey to us. A continental air mass moving over land may alter only a little, whereas a maritime air mass alters massively as it interacts with the sea. Some air masses don't take a direct route to us and will alter as they move over warm and cold seas. The most severe weather we experience comes when cold, dry air from the north clashes with the warm, humid air from the tropical oceans to the south. We don't have enough time to look at every possible air mass in this film, but we've had a look at the basic types and how they change. If you want to learn more about air masses or anything to do with the weather and climate, why not visit the Met Office website?